In this GeoMap app tutorial, we will look at ways to customize the appearance of the default base map. Let's say we would like to customize the base map for an area around the Canary Islands. First, we'll turn on the zoom tool so that we can zoom to the area. The zoom tool is up here in the toolbar. And we can zoom by clicking on the map or by using a cursor to draw a box on the map. Now that we've zoomed into the area of interest, we can turn off the zoom function by clicking once on the zoom tool. For this particular area, the base map shows that we have good details on the land elevations, like here, as well as good detail in some parts of the oceanic areas, for example over here. The map currently on display is a pre-made image for this area. In order to customize the appearance of the map, we need to load the underlying grid for the base map. The toolbar provides a shortcut for loading the base map grid, and it's this button here. When we click on this button, the base map grid will be loaded and two windows will appear, a grid dialog window and a layer manager window. If these windows do not appear, they may be parked in the computer's taskbar. For now, let's minimize the layer manager window. And we'll move the grid dialog window so we can see more of the islands. Also, we can move the inset map simply by dragging it to another part of the map window, like this. Or we can eliminate the inset map by going up to the overlays menu and unticking the global map inset option. If the grid dialog window was pushed to the background, we can bring it forwards by going into the windows menu and selecting its name. The main part of the grid dialog window here shows a histogram of the distribution of elevations in this particular area. It also shows how the default color palette is distributed amongst that range of elevation. The rainbow colored buttons over in the lower left here allow us to choose which subset of elevation data is being colored with this particular palette. In this case, the rainbow colors are below the zigzag line, which represents sea level, and this indicates that the color palette on displaying the histogram window is for the oceans. We can change the color distribution for the oceanic areas shown in the map window by clicking and dragging the vertical gray lines left and right. For example, clicking on the second rainbow colored button allows us to change the color palette for the land elevations in a similar manner, and the rainbow button at the bottom allows us to change the color palette for the whole range of oceanic depths and land elevations. For now, let's concentrate on the ocean bathymetry, so we'll once again select the button here. Different color palettes can be chosen or even imported using the palettes menu here. So, for example, we can switch to a black and white color palette, or down here, create our own custom palette. The sun illumination tool over on the right, here, allows us to change the angle of the artificial illumination. In order to do this, we simply click on the yellow sun symbol and drag it to another part of the map, for example, down here. The sun illumination can be turned off by clicking the button here. The VE box here in the middle of the grid dialog window allows us to change the vertical exaggeration displayed in the map window. For example, we can change it to a value of 4 
by changing the number in the box and hitting the enter key. And there we see the effects of the increased contrast. Contours can be drawn on the base map using the contouring button here. And when we click on this button, a contour parameter window appears. Let's change the contour interval to be 200 meters and we'll contour from minus 5,000 meters to sea level. Once the parameters have been set, we hit the OK button. And there we see the contours on the map. Next to the contour button is the profiling tool here. And more information about taking profiles can be found in the other tutorials related to gridded data. If we minimize the global grids window or move it out of the way, we can see the whole map. and look at the changes that we made to the base map. In this manner, we can customize the base map to suit our needs. Finally, in order to save this version of the base map, we would go to the File menu and select the Save Map Window option here. And we see we can save the grid, as well as various options for saving the image. More information on GeomapApp can be found at www.geomapapp.org.